Hoatzins have a supersized crop at the base of their throat to store and digest consumed leaves and fruits. The rumination process is just like a cow's, so some people call them flying cows. Please continue watching to find out more. Salutations, benevolent viewers. My name is Bianca, a vegan Hoatzin from Splendid Guyana, which is home to natural wonders and sublime landscapes. The animals and people of my land wish for you to have a day full of divine love and blessings. Welcome to our show, Hawatsun, the Enigmatic Bird. We Hawatsons live in trees and shrubs among the swans, tropical riverbanks, and mangroves around the Amazon and Orinoco rivers in South America. We are Guyana's national bird and are honorably included in Guyana's coat of arms. We are one of a kind, and our intriguing features have earned us quite a few funny nicknames. Interestingly, from an evolutionary standpoint, nobody really knows where we came from. We have an extraordinarily colorful appearance. With an unfeathered blue face and maroon eyes, our small head is topped with a cool, spiky 10cm rufous crest, just like a punk rocker's mohawk. Therefore, some locals call us punk rock birds. Our body is covered with chocolate brown feathers, with white bars on the wings, and we are the size of a pheasant. Hoatzins are exclusively vegan, and along with the owl parrot, we are the only two bird species that primarily eat leaves. We also sometimes eat buds, flowers, and fruits as dessert. Foraging in the early morning and evening, we spend the rest of the day comfortably roosting. Since we attain most of our water from the leaves, we rarely need to drink. Although we are relatively unafraid of humans, and ordinarily allow you to closely approach us, we advise that you don't get too near and take a sniff. Do you dare try? You are then guaranteed to receive an unforgettable experience. Yep, we have a very potent odor, and are also known as the stink or skunk bird of the marshes. We have a supersized crop at the base of our throat to store and digest consumed leaves and fruits. This stinky smell is from the chemicals released during the fermentation process taking place in the crop, where bacteria slowly break down the fibrous leaves for us. The rumination process is just like a cow's, so some people call us flying cows. This foul smell has proven to be a great self-defense mechanism. It keeps us safe, so our numbers in the wild remain strong, despite the gradual loss of our habitat. It's truly an unexpected benefit of being vegan. Our large crop impedes the development of our flight muscles, which makes us clumsy and reluctant flyers. We prefer climbing on the tree branches instead of flying, but we are not particularly elegant in the climbing department either. As our crop makes us top-heavy, we have to rely on a resilient little bump on the crop's bottom to balance on branches. Having said that, we are proud of being vegan, and these inconveniences caused by our leaf catering digestive system are just a tiny price to pay. We communicate with a variety of hoarse calls, including groans, croaks, hisses, and grunts. And body movements, such as spreading our wings, accompany our calls. We also use hissing and yelping to defend ourselves and protect our chicks from danger. Apart from being vocal, we often crash through trees and make plenty of noise. So if you travel near where we live, you will probably hear us before you see us. When the rain comes to the marshes and jungles of our homeland, it also puts us in the mood for love. We find our better halves during the rainy season, and we mate for life. Females build a stick nest on a tree that overhangs the water and lays two to three eggs. Both parents raise their young together, and occasionally even the older siblings help out. 
The eggs take around a month to hatch. And when the chicks emerge, they come into the world with a big surprise. What's so special about our chicks? They have claws on their wings. While some other birds, such as chickens, kia parrots, and ostriches, also have vestigial claws on their wings, we are the only living bird with functional ones that are important to our survival. The two claws on the front of each wing function immediately upon hatching and help the chicks grip when they use their strong, oversized feet to move around the tree branches. When there is a threat to the nest, the parents make noises to distract the intruder, while the babies leave home and hide among the thickets. If discovered, they will drop into the water and hide or dive for safety. Don't worry, we are born to swim. Once the threat is gone, the young ones will then use their feet and wing claws to grasp onto low-hanging branches, climb up the tree trunk, and then return to the nest. How's that for immediate independence? These cool and handy wing claws are present and functional only when we are young. They disappear once we reach adulthood. Researchers are eager to know more about how our babies use these wing claws, and they have discovered something intriguing. During a study, they found that when the chicks swim, they move both wings together similar to a breaststroke. This was expected as birds flap both wings simultaneously when flying. But when the chicks were placed on a slope covered with a towel, an unexpected thing happened. The chicks' walking pattern is right wing, left foot, left wing, right foot. This is like what some four-legged animals, such as dogs, do. How amazing! Until then, no one knew our babies move in a way that no other living bird does. As you have observed, no other birds have wing claws, eat leaves, and look like us. So, from where did we originate? This enigma has been puzzling scientists for decades. Some biologists associate us with the Archaeopteryx, a dinosaur species believed to have existed 125 to 150 million years ago, and is widely considered to be the first bird ever but this idea has not been fully embraced. Scientists have studied our DNA to a degree, and after comparing it with other bird species, suggested that our closest relatives are taracos, doves, or cranes. None of these findings have ever completely satisfied the scientific community. In 2015, a genetic research study indicated that we branched off from the avian family tree around 64 million years ago shortly after the great extinction event that caused the end of all the non-avian dinosaurs. So, we are truly in a class of our own. Our distinctive features have provided tough challenges for evolutionary theorists. If natural selection, the cornerstone of evolutionary theory and modern biology, holds true, then we developed the wing claws to get back into our nests after falling into water for cover. However, if our chicks didn't have these claws to get back home in the first place, then they had a very slim chance of making it. If our offspring could not survive, how could we have evolved? Also, our unique digestive system is designed for a leaf diet, which presents an even bigger challenge. Should we be classified as a close relative of ruminants like cows or sheep? No way, right? Since all the attempts to associate other animals with us have failed, Perhaps we were created directly by God. Well, let the scientists continue to scratch their heads. We just want to be joyful vegans and happily live in our home. The next time you join an Amazon River cruise, look for our spiky orange mohawk and listen for us. We are looking forward to seeing you. Magnificent viewers, 
Thank you very much for your company on today's program. Coming up next is Use Our Wisdom, Part 4 of 10, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May you expand your circle of love to include all beings. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com barre oblique aw. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule et suprememastertv.com barre inclinada aw. Ta programa tamas prosferum poles glosses para calumedite suprememastertv.com cathetos schedule que suprememastertv.com cathetos aw.